Hello and welcome to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell, and here's what we'll be discussing on today's show. Did another Hollywood star accidentally receive Tom Holland's Avengers bonus? What exactly is the Sleepy Girl mocktail? Plus, an it girl of Hollywood just announced her pregnancy and a legendary pop star is going back on tour after a long hiatus. Okay, let's get into it. Starting off with the Tom Holland, Tom Hollander mix up of the ages. The fact that they actually have gotten confused in the Hollywood business sphere and not just by fans is hilarious. So for those who don't know, Tom Holland is a very famous movie star right now. Best known, obviously, for playing Spider-Man in the new Spider-Man films. He's been in the Avengers movies. He's also dating his Spider-Man co-star, Zendaya, arguably one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood currently. Tom Hollander may be a name you're not as familiar of, but you've definitely seen his face. He's been in everything from Pride and Prejudice, to the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. He was most recently in season two of The White Lotus um, as one of the quote, evil gays that was, spoiler alert, trying to kill Jennifer Coolidge's character. Um, he's, he's an iconic actor. Both of them are iconic actors, but there's also a 29 year age difference between the two of them. So it's a little bit hard to get them confused if you see them side by side, but the fact that their names are Tom Holland and Tom Hollander, it makes sense why people might get them confused. Well, Tom Hollander revealed on the Seth Meyers show this week that he received a highly sensitive email meant for Tom Holland from their former talent agency. This is what he said on, on Seth Meyers. I got an email from the agency saying, quote, payment advice slip, your first box office bonus for the, the Avengers. And I thought, I don't think I'm in the Avengers. Tom Hollander then shares, it was for an astonishing amount of money. And it, obviously it wasn't his salary. It was just the box office bonus. And he, he didn't disclose the exact amount, but he did say it was for over $1 million. $1 million. Um, Obviously, that's a lot of money to receive as a bonus. I think all of us watching this probably wish that our bosses would give us a million dollar bonuses, but unfortunately, we're not actors in the Avengers that grosses, you know, over a billion dollars. Um, so unfortunately, that money wasn't for Tom Hollander. It was a classic mix up, a Tom Hollander mix up for the ages. Um, and I just thought it was very funny that those two are not just getting confused by fans, but like their actual talent agencies are getting them confused. And thank God it wasn't like an email that was actually, I mean, revealing how much money someone's made, that's personal, but it could have been a lot more personal. So I'm glad that that's all that it was. And hopefully Tom Holland can laugh about the fact that his email was received by Tom Hollander instead. I did see a very funny tweet and I wish I could remember who said the, the, the tweet, but this this person tweeted that um, the fact that there's the existence of Tom Holland and Tom Hollander means that there is a Tom Hollandist somewhere out there in the world. <laughs> and that made me laugh. So if you are a Tom, Tom Hollandist, reveal yourself because I think we need the three of you in a room together or something. Or maybe you should become an actor. Um, anyway, also a side note, I really feel like Tom Holland is such a talented actor and I would like him to maybe potentially consider getting a new agent because I feel like aside from the Spider-Man Avengers movies, I don't know that he's making the best acting choices or like the best acting jobs, taking the best acting jobs. I feel like he's so, he's so good and he's so charismatic on screen and he's very talented, but I would love to see him maybe try something new. I would like to see him take the Robert Pattinson path where he starts working with interesting filmmakers, more indie projects, lower budget, and kind of like builds up his resume because I feel like he's a Oscar worthy actor if he can find the right part. And I feel like right now he hasn't really found the right role for him. So not that I'm available to be his agent, but 
Tom, maybe something to consider going forward. Um, also, I would love a new Spider-Man movie too, because those are fantastic. Uh, all right, moving on to a viral TikTok sensation that has genuinely cleared the shelves of every single grocery store across the country. If you've been on TikTok in the last month or so, you've probably seen every influencer in the world try this sleepy girl mocktail. Now, what is the sleepy girl mocktail? I will tell you. It is one part tart, tart cherry juice, say that five times fast, magnesium powder, and then some sort of carbonated beverage. Most people put in poppy, like a ginger lime poppy or the cherry limeade poppy. By the way, poppy is the best drink known to mankind. This is not a sponsored ad, but I drink poppy every single day and I would love for them to, you know, maybe send me a box or something sometime. That'd be nice. Um, so anyway, you put all those three things in a glass. A lot of people are putting them like in a fun wine glass. A lot of people are doing dry January. Uh, and so they're looking for like an alternative to alcohol. And so they're tricking their minds into thinking they're drinking wine, but in reality, they're drinking juice, I guess. Um, so they put it all in, in a fun w wine glass. And not only does it taste good, but a lot of people feel like it actually helps you fall asleep a lot easier. Now, some studies have shown that cherry juice like promotes relaxation and natural sleep. A lot of people also use magnesium as a supplement to to have a good night's rest. So there is some, I don't want to say science behind it, but there there is some belief that these these things do naturally help you fall asleep easier, have a better night's rest. But honestly, I think people just love it because it tastes good. And I have tried it, okay? I am a I, I will try at any sort of TikTok trend. I am not above a TikTok trend. And I've, I was like, you know what? This, this looks good. I'm not a big drinker either. So I'm always looking for like a fun mocktail style drink. I love a good, I love a good beverage. Um, and I scoured grocery stores across, basically like within a 20 mile radius of my home. Tart cherry juice sold out everywhere. You go to Trader Joe's, you go to Whole Foods, you go to any grocery store, and I guarantee you, you will not be able to find tart cherry juice. And if you do, bite off the shelf and sell it at a premium because these TikTok girlies will buy your juice. They will get it. They will pay a premium in order to make this Sleepy Girl mocktail. Um, if you haven't tried it yet and you have these ingredients in your home, give it a shot. See if it helps you fall asleep. See what you think. Um, but most importantly, it just, it's a nice fun beverage and it tastes good. And, um, yeah, who, who, who doesn't love a nice fun drink to end, end the day? I know I certainly do. Okay. Moving on to other stories. Congratulations are in order for Sophia Ritchie and her husband, Elliot Grange, who recently announced that they are expecting a baby, a baby girl to be exact. They actually announced their pregnancy with Vogue, which is very chic and very on brand for Sophia Ritchie. Um, for those who don't know Sophia, she might be best known as the daughter of famed legendary singer, singer Lionel Ritchie. But for others, specifically people on TikTok of the Gen Z generation, um, she's basically known for being like a social media it girl. She's one of the pioneers of the term quiet luxury and the quiet luxury aesthetic, which went viral last year. And basically what that means is, for those who are not uh, familiar, it means like showing that you're wealthy or appearing very wealthy, but not because you're carrying handbags that have like designer labels plastered everywhere and you're not like you're not outwardly showing your wealth in terms of like designer labels or like anything that's super super in your face it's more of like people can tell you're rich because you just look pulled together and you look chic and you look elegant not because it's like super obvious you're carrying a bag that's worth ten thousand dollars and i think sophia went viral for this trend because of the way that she dresses and puts herself together, but also because of her wedding, which took place in April of uh, last year, she had a very quiet luxury aesthetic wedding. And again, this is a trend I'm sure in like six months will flip and now we'll be talking about like loud luxury and 
people wearing extreme labels everywhere and like the trends change all the time. But that's kind of what she's best known for. And again, she's got lots and lots of followers on TikTok and Instagram. And uh, congratulations to the two of them who are having a baby. Very, very exciting. And um, hope everything goes well. Can't wait to find out what the name is because that's my favorite part about celebrity babies is like, what are they going to name the baby? Are they going to go? I think she will go traditional with the name because again, quiet luxury. I think she'll pick something very classic, timeless, but you never know with these celebrities, you know, sometimes they go with Apple. And then finally, Justin Timberlake is back after a long hiatus. First album in five years, he just announced that he is releasing his new album on March 15th called Everything I Thought I Was. He also dropped his new single, Selfish, this week. He's going to be performing on SNL uh, on Saturday night with Dakota Johnson. Now, for those who don't know or maybe forgot, this is an iconic reunion from the legendary movie, The Social Network. For those who don't remember, <laughs> Dakota Johnson and um, Justin Timberlake were in that movie together for one scene, for one scene. But as a person who is obsessed with that movie and loves it and watches it like twice a year, I'm telling myself it's a social network re reunion. Um, anyway, announced the album, re released this single, and then also announced his tour, Forget Tomorrow World Tour, which will be taking off, I'm sure, around the world. But he an announced his um, North American dates, which will be... I think running through like the latter half of this year. Um, now I'm sure there's lots of people who are excited about Justin putting out new music and going on tour and all that stuff. It's been a rocky couple years for JT. Um, after a lot of stuff came to light in the last couple years with his uh, relationship with Britney Spears, like 20 plus years ago, he hasn't been like in the public favor. I don't think people have like been rooting him on necessarily given what has come to light um but i feel like this is him like on the comeback trail trying to trying to win people over again and honestly i think trying to get back to the jt that we i think all loved in like the early to mid 2000s when he was putting out songs like sexy back and what goes around comes around like those are legendary iconic songs and i'd like to see justin get back to that that place, um, putting out good songs, because he is talented. Um, so I'll be curious to see how the album does, how the tour sells, how he does on SNL. Something to watch out for. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. Please make sure to like, to comment, subscribe to this channel. You guys know the drill, and we will see you guys next week.